Okay, so let's fly back into the sky and get on moving. Um, our next desired destination, I guess, would be over here. So, I, I'm gonna show it off. Yeah, yeah we, let's just show it off. So, it's pretty far away, but flying is so fast within this game. I mean, if you pause on the map, it looks like it's far away, and Skyloft looks really small, but it's so big. Um, and everything just seems like it's gonna be a hassle, but it's not. And I like how you can actually get that top-down perspective like this. Uh, if you do want to cover a lot of air really quickly, you want to find one of those weird dome-looking... Well, not necessarily dome-looking, but... Those craters, like, see these giant rocks in the air? You want to find one that looks like a, uh... That has a circle in the center, that's it. Yeah, and it will allow you to, um... Shoe fly a lot faster. I don't know why I'm, like, spacing out here. <laughs> oh, no, the sky is just so beautiful, man. I'm spacing out because I'm so fascinated. Look at that. It's actually really plain. Not really much, especially since the render distance for everything is so uh, wonky. I mean, they make it seem like the sky makes it all misty, and I guess that does make sense, but I don't know. I have a problem with that. I wish, I wish it was more. I feel like it's really barren for being in the sky, and I love the sky concept, but it seems really barren, so yeah. Uh, I mean, the surface has way more than the stinking sky. I don't know why everyone didn't come down there. But here we are. There's a giant bamboo stick over here. Let's go ahead and start slicing it. Woo! Yeah! 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 I love the music that plays in here. So, uh... Just so nice. And here you got a guy practicing with his sword. He looks super swaggy. Look at that gut! Look at that gut! Oh, God. Look at that gut. Let me, let me put my sword in and go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That is cool. You got a nice gut. Oh, my... Sword is inside your face. You got, got a nice good. Got, okay. Anyways, hey man, what's up? Yo. What? Is that you, Link? Never thought I'd run into you here. Who are you? No. What? You're telling me you don't know who I am? Believe it or not, I used to be the most popular guy in the sky. Mr. Skyloft. That was me. But you might relate better if I told you I was the proud father of Skyloft's most popular girl, Patrice. Princess of the Atom Check. How's that? Does that clear anything up for you, young feller? <laughs> this here's my secret spot where I come to work the kinks out of my sword arm. There was a time I was the most popular guy in Skyloft. Folks were always cheering me on like it was a parade. But as you know, time passes. And I'm not the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed. And I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. Yeah, I got a good look at it. So, that's what drives the fella here to chop some bamboo. Let me tell you, there's no better way to sweat off those pounds. Here's an idea, Link. Why don't you try slicing some bamboo? Alright, so let's do it. Now, this here, this minigame, and I'm just gonna ignore what he has to say after this, because he's most likely gonna tell us how to do it. You just wanna slice in place. It's kind of like the trees that we were slicing earlier, uh, but you gotta pay rupees to do this. And I did slice the bamboo before I talked to him, so yeah, he's showing you this old big bamboo, but it's not even there, because I already cut it out. So it's gonna respawn, don't worry, when I come to play. And yeah, you pay 10 rupees. Now, you can get a lot of cool. Um, treasures from it. That's what the main reason for this is. But I'm gonna be aiming for rupees. Now you can get double or ten more rupees than what you paid for if you get a certain amount. I believe it's fifteen to. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop at nineteen. I believe it's fifteen to nineteen. Once you hit twenty, you start getting rare treasures. So the only way you're eligible for prizes is from fifteen and up. And fifteen to nineteen. I'm pretty sure it should be rupees. Please tell me it's rupees. Because I don't really want. So, yeah. 30 rupees. Wow. So, for paying 10 rupees, you get added an added 20. That is so good. Uh, if you get 20 cuts and up, you start getting treasure. And as the more cuts you get, you get even more rare treasure. So on and so forth. And I, I mean, I'm down to show this stuff off. But I only came here for the money. So, I don't care. Because you can find all of these uh, special uh, treasures. Uh, pretty easily later within the game and I mean that's what we're here for we're here to look for them We don't need a guy just to hand it out to us for cutting bamboos um, Also, it is pretty pricey when you think about it. So Yeah, uh, but with that done we can now Go ahead and make our way back uh, To to where we need to go back. I don't know why I said backed 
but back to where we need to go. But I do want to see if I can somehow get my hands on a little jelly blob, because if I can, then that is my ticket to upgrading my shield. And I have the amount of rupees to do so. And if I can't get my hands on one of those, it's fine. Uh, what I will do instead is I will upgrade, or not upgrade, but I will buy something from a different uh, shop owner or shop person. And I didn't, somehow I somehow I couldn't get in there. I don't. That was really bad. I know. I don't care though. But yeah, uh, there's a different person selling stuff here in Skaloff that I will say hi to. And as you can tell, the render doesn't really work. Like uh, you can't see the characters or anything. It's just a giant render of the. Um, of the island itself but what's cool is wherever you dive is wherever you're gonna land like it's it's pretty accurate on like indicating the sweet spots of where you landed I mean granted I did land right here but you you got the gist and I it did look really small when up in the air because Skyloft is huge and I don't think they want to render out all of Skyloft as an island with the thing that'd be way too hectic but all of the other islands that we can get on like the bamboo one and the lumpy pumpkin all of that as you saw, was, um, had no loading time in between, so, I mean, Wind Waker did it really well, Wind Waker, there was never any loading time, it doesn't matter how big the island was, so, I thought that was really cool, and I compared this to Wind Waker, because the whole travel system is super identical, I was hoping one of these two jellies would have dropped a blob, because they do have a chance of dropping it, that's kind of like their rare drop, uh, but sadly they did not, so I will try one more time to see if they will drop one, and if they don't, then I guess I can't upgrade my shield because that's somehow you need that to add uh, metal or steel rims onto a wooden shield. You just need the blob for it. So I don't know. That's that's the game for you. So yeah, let's try one more time. Like I said, I want to do some of the grinding off screen. This is not really grinding though because it's just one small thing I'm hoping that I'll get lucky and find. So come on. Uh, somehow thrusting didn't work. <laughs> All right, maybe I shouldn't let him get on me like that. Let's try it one more time. Where are those guys? There we go. And please uh, get off of me. Nope, nothing. Okay, whatever. I guess I got unlucky. Uh, you know, we can always upgrade our shield later on. And the shield looks nice as it is, right? It has a, uh, like, the foot of a bird. At least it looks like that to me. And when you do upgrade it, it looks like two wings. And there are so many shield upgrades within this game, but at the end, all of those upgrades won't be that much worth it. And uh, it will make sense why. I'm not going to spoil it if you don't know, but uh, you don't have to worry too much about shield upgrades. If you're someone who doesn't really care about shields, then don't worry. But I want to show off all the upgrades, so I will take the time and do so. Um, and either way, I don't need to upgrade this wooden shield at all, because I can always buy a more sturdier shield, like a metal shield, later on within the game when I get the chance to. So, you know, the time will come and I will get the chance to do all of that stuff. But for now, whatever. Uh, I guess Gondo will say hi to us later and we will enter the bazaar another time. There's a different shop, though, like I said, that we can head to. And that is over here. So go ahead and hit this bell of, uh, of this moving airship thing and yes a uh, giant rope will come down you want to just hold on to it and head up this my friends is one of the coolest ways to buy stuff it is the sky mall of sky malls yeah um, here we have okay this is the, I love this little entrance so yeah you walk in and you're like what is going on and then you see him yes it's beetle so, oh, you've come all this way. It's so rare to have a customer here. Yeah, because your air shop, it's an air shop. It doesn't make any sense. Why can't you just come all the way here, bring down your supplies, and, like, make a little venue to sell stuff instead of constantly be flying? Unless it's, like, illegal to do that on the grounds. Uh, so he has to do it in the air instead. Uh, I don't know, but he's selling some pretty swaggy stuff. Uh, here he has an additional adventure pouch, which I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick up right now. That will allow us to hold six items in total, because we got the four from Fledge, and then we found one, and now we found another, so, yeah, it's definitely useful. Oh, it's actually way too expensive, I'm sorry. Uh, take a look at something else for sale. He really wants you to buy something, by the way, because look at how much sweat he's putting into keeping this thing running. So, yeah, do not upset this guy and, uh, end up 
just giving up. So let's see, an extra wallet. This will allow us to hold an additional 300 rupees. Obviously, there's no way it will be more than 300 rupees, so... Yeah, it was only 100 rupees. Paying a lot of money to hold money. Doesn't make sense, but whatever. I'll do it. And there you go. We can hold up to 600 rupees now. Plus 300. It's weird how they don't just have a bigger wallet. But now, he's happy. If I leave his uh, little air shop, he's not gonna be mad at me. Uh, because we bought something. Actually, if you don't buy anything, he kicks you off if you try to leave. Because he gets mad that you stopped for you and you didn't buy anything. So, and I find that really funny. But, yeah. I won't show that off now because, you know, we, uh, we're actually buying stuff. Like, here's a bug net I just picked up. Uh, this will allow me to catch butterflies and those birds we see. And it really does suit us, so I appreciate that, man. That's pretty cool. Uh, here, he has a heart medallion, or a life medal, I guess. Got that completely wrong, but it bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects. Whoever carries it. Um, so what this essentially does is it gives us an additional heart container within our life gauge. It's weird, but this is a permanent... I don't have the money for it, of course. I will eventually. But, yeah. It's a permanent piece of life on you. How weird is that? And it, it, it literally substitutes for a heart container because you're not going to get that heart container. So to have all 20 heart containers, you're going to need two of those life medals to do so. And that's the one thing I never got because they give you six hearts and somehow they couldn't scatter um, <laughs> the amount. I don't know why. It, just, it never made sense to me why life medals existed to begin with. Like why couldn't it just have been a heart container or you could have scattered four more pieces of heart or something. Um, that's the game for you, so to always have a 100% file, uh, you're going to need to have those two life medals equipped it at all times. But don't worry, it will be easy to always have equipped it, just still, it, I think it bothers me a lot, so whatever. Uh, we got ourselves a couple of cool handy goodies, though, from this little trip we just did. Sadly, I was not able to upgrade my shield, which was actually the most intended at least the one, the one thing I had on my agenda, that's really what I wanted to do, but it's whatever, you know. Uh, we'll do it later on. In Report Masters, so now we can land on any part that we so desire, and I just realized something really bad. I haven't been checking these statues. What you're supposed to do every time you come upon a bird statue is you're supposed to click A and either save on it, or just in general talk to it. I was ignoring all of them for the sake of the let's play, which was really bad. So I'm going to have to go back and all those little bird statues you saw, I'm going to have to talk to them. But luckily, I did speak to the one in the forest temple to ascend, uh, and now we can easily teleport there. So let's go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look into uh, heading through the forest uh, area and everything and just speaking to all of those... Uh, little bird statues because yeah if I don't pray to them uh, I guess <laughs> I can't access them which is gonna get a little annoying but I don't know if I can actually land on every single one I think I can land on most of them though but as you can see I skipped most of them so yeah don't worry about that I did show most of them off and they're not really hard to skip like you're not gonna end up skipping any so don't worry about that but yeah, I ended up skipping them because for the sake of the let's play, I didn't really bother. But hey, look, there's a little uh, Deku Baba here that I'm going to go ahead and kill. And I'm going to go ahead and read this. So, he who descended from above. Alright, that has to be us because we ascended just right now from above. Look to the star that the bird rises heaven heavenward gazes upon and aim your shot there. And this is supposed to be super like... Uh, you know, riddly, where you're just not gonna get it, I guess. Um, so yeah, look to the star that the bird rising heaven ward gazes upon. Normally, I mean, I get... It doesn't, it, like, it doesn't scream what you're supposed to do, because... I look at that sign, and I'm like, I didn't need that sign. I head up here, and I'm like, okay, I want to take on the forest temple. What am I supposed to do? This is, uh, confusing. Uh, I don't know, I just got myself... A slingshot I should maybe use it then I look around and yeah it's right there this is a switch that will open up the temple uh, funny enough they had that little riddle there that to me made no sense I didn't figure out from that but then after I figured out the puzzle and read it I'm like oh that's that's what it meant okay well yeah now it's time to take on the first temple within the game as you can tell it's deep into the woods this is it guys this it's not the forest temple per se, you will figure out what it is in the next episode, so 